welcome back to my channel. My name is Olim Kirote and this is Olim Kirote Rebranded a place for entrepreneurs. In my previous video, we dived in deep into reels and I'm glad to see that y'all enjoyed that video. So I asked you guys to comment down below and this is the comment winner of this week. Thank you so much for commenting on my last week's video. I really appreciate you and I'm glad that you explore reels. I did a video four months ago about paypal so the title was how to create an account on paypal link paypal to mpesa top up using mpesa and withdraw to mpesa so that video has done absolutely well thank you guys for 9,000 views as we speak and 300 likes and 98 comments so thank you so much guys however as much as the video has grown there are so many questions that have been popping up on the comment section and i decided to do a part two answering all those questions if you have not checked that video out first click on this link up here so definitely start from there as well guys if you haven't subscribed onto this channel kindly do subscribe smash the like button if you enjoyed this video yeah let's get on to it guys It's Rad Visuals asked a question. Hi, you explain this message for me whenever I want to top up my PayPal from M-Pesa. This message comes up. Failed, the amount is less than minimum. M-Pesa payment for more information, call or SMS customer service on 100. I wanted to test by topping up 100 Kenya shilling. <sighs> Mr. Visuals, if you get a message saying it is less, have you tried doing more does it still bring the same message okay grace wanjiko and she asks i learned a lot from the video quick question when creating a paypal account to receive money from online jobs do i create a personal or a business paypal account if you're planning to do business and you plan to get money definitely sign up your account as a business account i mean you've already stated that you want to be receiving money from online jobs so clearly that is a business that is work so i would suggest you do a business account her question got me thinking what is the difference between a personal account and a business account on paypal if you have a paypal personal account then your customers will also have to also have a paypal account to be able to pay you however if you have a business account then you can accept payments even by credit card without your your customers having to have a paypal account so clearly from this a business account on paypal is more favorable global writers asked how can i link a number that had been used in linking a previous paypal account i don't think you can link a number that was already linked to a previous paypal account i don't think that's possible you can't use you can't start another previous you can't start a new paypal account with your new details and then link a number that already has been linked to another previous PayPal account, it's not possible. So Victoria also asked the same question, do I need a personal or a business PayPal account for online writing work? Again, <laughs> again guys, if you're doing business, just stick to your business account. Now what is the benefit of a PayPal business account? They even said that a PayPal business account makes it fast and easy for businesses just getting started, as well as those that are more established to accept and process credit card payments, debit card payments, and more in over 25 currencies from over 200 countries. Separation of personal and business PayPal accounts, you should keep separate accounts you should also do likewise with paypal you don't want to have your personal and your business to be in the same account i do suggest if it's for work just have a business account serial palm olive asks they tell me that my email doesn't match with my phone number if they tell you that your email does not match with your phone number then it doesn't most times when you get such a notification is because you're trying to log in into your paypal you don't remember the email or the number that you used to create that account so you're trying to guess in your multitude of emails and numbers and if you don't guess the right combination, it'll obviously say this. However, if you're 100% sure that your email and number is accurate, then definitely reach out to PayPal support. Rama Ken asks, do you know the withdrawal fees of an amount of more than 1,000 USD? Yes, I only know it because it is on the website. Visit PayPal mobilemoney.com or PayPal M-Pesa. PayPal M-Pesa. So just type PayPal M-Pesa and click the link 
then go to frequently asked questions you can access frequently asked questions without even having to log in and when you scroll down you're going to come to the transaction when you go to what charges apply for using this service when you plan to withdraw from paypal to your mpesa it's going to charge you a three percent conversion fee but if you're planning to top up from mpesa to paypal you're going to be charged a four percent conversion fee and again they've said that regular mpesa charges apply maria asked what do i do when i can't link your paypal to mpesa again these are chances where your details don't match or your number has already been linked to a previous paypal account or something of the sort so try starting a new email or try getting a new number and see if it works but most of the time your details just don't match Madara Titus Amenga and he asks I'm new to PayPal and I don't understand what they mean by address line one and address line two kindly assist so address line one and address line two can work in terms of your physical address or your PO box but basically something that tells PayPal where you're located or how they can reach you in terms of physicality address line one should contain your primary address which is basically maybe your home address but your address line two should contain your secondary address which is probably so basically that's what address means if you look at my address for my business account I've put my PO box 67721 where it is located it's GPO 00200 Nairobi which is the city the town however you can also add another address and just basically come and type like address line one like Kipande Road or something Mombasa Road then city you can put Nairobi province Nairobi and then you can also just put your postal code here as well and then just say add address and address line one can be your home and your business can be address line two and you can see they said the first one make it home and the second one make it business so that's pretty much how you do. minecraft asked can i make a video on how to send and receive cash on paypal please watch part one part one highlights how to create an account on paypal and how to send and receive money on paypal and how to withdraw and top up using M-Pesa. So kindly watch part one if that is why you're here. Brian Wanene asks, can you help me link my bank account, please? So we are gonna do that right now. Come to settings and then click account settings. And then once you click account settings, on the far left, there is business profile business information account on information money banks and cards this is where you're able to link your bank account so what you normally do is come to cards you can also link your debit card to paypal even though they've written credit card you can also just link your debit card so just click link a new card and here is my card and i'm going to show you guys how i do it so select your card type my card type is visa and then please enter a valid date so the security code is a three digit number that's usually at the back of your card or rather the csc code you linked your visa debit card and i'm just going to say done so basically that's how you're going to link a card what paypal is going to do is going to send an amount of money to your account and then remove that money again and actually confirm that the card is yours so yeah is it safe for you to link your card yes it's safe but with anything about online and about linking cards and all i usually say do your due diligence to put security on your paypal account <laughs> so just update your security before you link your bank account clement ibiza he asks what do you do when it says details don't match exactly what it says match the details i know that's a problem that many of you guys are going through and it's how comes every time I'm trying to link my PayPal to M-Pesa, my details don't match. PayPal is a bank, like I said, guys. If my ID was registered as Olive Nkirote and then my M-Pesa registration name is also Olive Nkirote, then I open a PayPal account with my email. PayPal will ask you for your name and your phone number so if i give them names and phone numbers that are not the same with my impressor and are not the same with my id you are just digging your grave because 
PayPal will be like, this is not the same person. Your details don't match. The number you link your PayPal account should also say the same name. Your ID number that's registered to M-Pesa should also say the same name. Every detail should match because they need to clarify that this is the same person. Marianne asked if you can provide a video for Skrill to M-Pesa and vice versa, it will be very relevant. This is a video I'm actually working on soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Laban asks, I'm trying to add my date of birth but it's not working please help so there are some things i might not be able to sort out for you for paypal but i want to show you in case you have an issue with paypal and you don't know how to assist yourself when you come to help when you click help what happens is all the common questions that other people have asked and the solutions that can help you in sorting out your problem however if you don't find a reason why you can't put your birth date and why exactly it's happening to you come and click this icon so there is an icon that's usually here when you click this icon you're basically going to be able to contact paypal and one of the paypal employees is going to get back to you within 24 hours laban kingori and type hi my name is laban i've been trying to update my birth date it's not working please assist me with the steps that i should take to do it then they will reach out to you in like 24 hours and then your problem will be sorted or they can give you a link that will direct you to one of their frequently asked questions and then all the steps will be outlined for you to be assisted so laban please consider just going and clicking that tab and talking to one of the paypal customer service support vision meshaki asks must you have a card no you don't really need to have a card for you to receive payments or transfer payments i have been working and using paypal without even linking my account so you really don't need a card axis onyx asks is your phone number your paypal number yes how else will you link your paypal number to mpesa if it ain't your m a number i mean like yes yes guys you can't use two different numbers for paypal and expect to withdraw money to mpesa to another different number it does not work like that ensure that your paypal and mpesa have the same number i want to show you something that i believe will help one or many of you so if at all you still want to learn more about paypal and mpesa i'm going to link this tab down below it's basically the paypal and mpesa frequently asked questions and you can see all the questions that maybe you still have and for example one of them being what are the transaction limits i can do from paypal to mpesa and they've actually highlighted them right now previously you could not do more than seventy thousand, but now you can do 150 000 to 300 000 per day that is 1500 dollars to three thousand dollars a day so again guys definitely check this um link down below it's basically the frequently asked question so before you drop a question on the comment section i would urge you to actually check one of their solutions here and you're going to be assisted in ways that i personally can't i feel like you can have a lot of questions answered you don't have to only access paypal on your laptop you can access paypal on your phone as well if you reside in kenya definitely download the safaricom mpesa app on the first page as you guys can see click mpesa and then click on mpesa global so mpesa global is on the far bottom right once you click mpesa global you will see paypal as one of the options so when you click paypal you can top up your paypal account from mpesa and you can withdraw from paypal account as well however when you click withdraw it's going to now take you now to the paypal website so that you can easily withdraw from there but topping up you can just top up directly from your mpesa and what mpesa does is they will actually just do the conversions for you right on screen so since i said i wanted to withdraw from paypal you can see that it's now brought me to the paypal mpesa website and i just need to log in and then once I log in, I'm going to be able to access my funds. I want to top up 200 Kenya shillings and then I press continue. M-Pesa will actually just tell you the exchange rate. It exchanges for you immediately. So it's going to tell you, Sawa, you want to top up 200 to your M pesa to your PayPal. But according to the exchange rate, you're only going to top up $1.8. I hope this app will help you. 
get a way of doing it faster and easier okay so i have answered all your questions guys thank you so much for staying tuned for part two thank you for making part one a success thank you for all your questions and i hope i've assisted you in all the ways possible don't forget to start where you are use what you have and do what you can thank you guys and mwah. bye see you on the next one don't forget to comment down below and most of all don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye!